Hi guys, I'm back with another book. Welcome to my channel. This is Into the Jungle Stories from Mowgli. It's going to be on our holiday gift guide and I'm fairly certain it's going to be offered as a giveaway too, so stay tuned for that and always check out our blog. We have a listing of all of our giveaways. This is written by Katherine Rundle and it's illustrated by Christiana S. Williams. So it's just, it's a beautiful book. Like I said, I love beautiful books, but you can see there's a nice shimmer in the cover. It makes a great gift, like I said. Um, the book has a retail price of $24.99. It's from award-winning author, Katherine Rundle. She presents a collection of thrilling origin stories for all of Kipling's best loved characters from the Jungle Book. And you can see the beautiful illustrations in here. I'm not going to, of course, read this uh, book um, because there's nice stories, but this is great for reading aloud to older kids and to Jungle Book lovers. It makes a great um, gift for any, you know, Disney fan of uh, uh, the Jungle Book or Red, Red Kipling's The Jungle Book. It has a nice red satin ribbon to mark. Place. You can read a story to your children each night. You can see the stories are, you know, nicely illustrated and there is a great deal of depth to the book. So into this jungle, you have a nice table of contents. Before Mother Wolf was a mother, she was a fighter. Bugaria's Cage, Baloo's Courage, Kaz Dance, Mowgli. So before Mother Wolf was a mother, she was a fighter. Father Wolf wedged his human child between his paws and began to lick him clean. The child Mowgli crouched on all fours and gnawed a buffalo bone. He was not a tidy eater, and marrow juice ran across one cheek and into his ear. Father Wolf licked it off. Tell me a story, Mowgli said. It was a very wet day in the Sioni Hills. The tangle of jungle stretched away below them. Its rich green leopard spotted with red and yellow where the trees had flowered. Mother Wolf was out hunting down toward the river where the bandicoot rats would be hiding. Rain, th rain thrummed down outside the cave, churning the forest floor into mud, but inside it was warm and dry and it was weather for storytelling. But not the one about the mongoose. I'm sick of that one. Don't be impertinent. Father Wolf laid one of his teeth against the top of Mowgli's skull and applied the lightest possible pressure. Mowgli was small but tough, with muscles that could catapult him into a tree in a single jump. Even so, it hurt. Ow! Mowgli rubbed his head and glared at Father Wolf. Ouch! The wolf said nothing, only batted Mowgli's head to the side so he could run a brisk tongue along the boy's neck. Fine. Sorry. Mowgli tried to look, both righteously annoyed and cajoling at once. It involved a lot of eyebrow work. Tell me about when you were little. Father Wolf shook his head and went on cleaning his son, licking hard at the dirt packed behind Mowgli's left ear. Please, said Mowgli, I'm hungry. Then eat something. There's no food in any way. I'm hungry for stories. Okay, so it's just, it's a lovely book, one to share and one to give as a gift. So look for more of this on our blog and stay tuned for that giveaway that I'm sure we'll be having. It'll be on our holiday gift guide as well at mommyramblings.org. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We've been doing a lot of uh, books that are featuring nature, so get out there in nature and really get out there and take the time to look around. And you can always jump back into a book at night and relive those experiences you have out there in the real world. Thank you so much again for watching and for subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate your support so that we can bring you lots of great things. Have a great one, guys. Bye now.